Storm Trucker weather starts now with meteorologist Ryan Dennis. Welcome back everyone. We have had superb weather for your Thursday, so hopefully you've been able to spend some time outside today. One of the warmest days that we have had in a while. Temperatures in the 70s in almost all locations throughout Montana. We're still in the 70s right now and there's a little bit of a breeze around, but the wind really isn't that bad. Sustained wind speeds between 5 and 15 miles per hour. In our Opportunity Bank iCam in Helena is, not once, is once again not working, so instead we're taking a live look at McDonald Pass where we did have some sunshine around today, but right now we are currently seeing mostly cloudy skies. Satellite and radar is pretty quiet, which is because high pressure is currently in control of our weather. But you can see there are a few showers in the northwestern part of the state, and that's associated with the next disturbance that is going to be sliding its way through our area as we go through tonight and into tomorrow. Not producing a lot of precipitation for us, but we are definitely going to have some wind around as this disturbance does work its way through our area. And then more disturbances will work their way through our area as we head into this weekend and early next week. Overnight tonight, we are going to have mostly cloudy skies and there are going to be some isolated rain showers and a couple isolated thunderstorms around, but a lot of that precipitation will be in north central Montana and in around the Helena area for the most part. We are going to be dry overnight tonight. Heading into tomorrow, there will be rain showers around in western Montana. Within central Montana, yes, there will be a few rain showers, maybe even a couple of thunderstorms around, but a lot of us are going to remain dry for most of the day tomorrow. But then as we head into tomorrow night, especially once we get past midnight, the next disturbance will work its way through our area, and there are going to be some scattered rain showers and a few thunderstorms around with this disturbance and then we'll continue to have some scattered rain showers and some thunderstorms around throughout the day on Saturday as well as that disturbance continues to work its way through our area. So wetter weather is in the forecast as we head into Saturday. We'll get a break in the precipitation later on Saturday and Saturday night and then more precipitation will work its way into our area for the second half of Sunday. The wind will diminish this evening and then overnight tonight a little bit of a breeze around especially along the Rocky Mountain front, but the wind really won't be a huge issue for most of us. And then for tomorrow, we are going to have gusty winds around, especially along the Rocky Mountain front, where we could see some wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour at times. For the rest of us, it will be breezy tomorrow with sustained wind speeds between 10 and 25 miles per hour. Wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour are going to be possible at times. Still a little bit of a breeze around tomorrow night, and then on Saturday, the wind will be weaker than it will be tomorrow, but it's still going to be breezy throughout the day with sustained wind speeds between 10 and 25 miles per hour in most locations. A mild night tonight, low temperatures in the 50s for a lot of us, and another warm day tomorrow with high temperatures in the 70s. Heading into this weekend, temperatures will slowly start to cool down with most of us only topping out in the 60s as we head into Sunday. And again, Sunday morning, we are going to be dry and maybe even some sunshine around, but as we head into Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening, rain showers and thunderstorms are in the forecast. We'll continue to have scattered rain showers and some thunderstorms around as we head into Monday and Tuesday as well. And it will be a lot cooler early, early next week with high temperatures only in the 50s and 60s, and will be breezy as well, but temperatures quickly warm back up for the middle and end of next work, the next work week with highs back in the 80s by next Thursday.